market crash, people giving their houses back to the bank. Am I talking about today? Am I talking about 2008? Or am I talking about 1929, the Great Depression? For years, people didn't have jobs, and they were killing themselves because they were so worried about the state of the economy. And then Franklin D. Roosevelt started the New Deal. He created the Works Progress Administration, which employed people, especially artists, but all walks of life, so that they had a job. I'm Bonnie Spindler, the Victorian Specialist, and I'm here with the American Dream. And today we're gonna look at the WPA and the artworks that were created under its auspices. I'm on the west end of Golden Gate Park where the WPA set up shop. They took 25 artists and gave them jobs all over San Francisco. There were very famous artists and less famous artists, and each of them took a salary of just $38 a week. The unknown artists were very excited to be working with the known artists, and the known artists were glad to be working in this community of fellows rather than being by themselves working and their art not selling. There was very little discretionary income, and so people were just trying to work and to pay their bills. The Beach Chalet was designed by Willis Polk, and it was a replacement for the venue that was there earlier. It was meant as a refreshment stop for beachgoers, and it was run by the National Park Service. Willis Polk's building was absolutely beautiful, but in its time, it has served many different purposes. In 1996, a restaurateur took it over, and it's been the Beach Chalet ever since. The French artist who was chosen to do the murals included his entire family, but he also did a lot of local dignitaries and the people who set up this Works Progress Administration in the building. He also did John McLaren, who was celebrating his 96th birthday at this point, and he put him in the murals. There are four types of art in the building. There are mosaics, which are stunning. There are carvings, uh, for instance, a octopus that tentacles go all the way up to the top and then sea themes carved into the banisters. It's absolutely beautiful. And then there's the frescoes. Frescoes are unique in that they haven't been really around since like the 16th century. You take wet plaster and then you dab the dry color pigments into the wet plaster. And you can only do about two feet by two feet at a time. Imagine the logistics of that, trying to do a huge mural the size of a room only two feet by two feet at a time. It's amazing that it has held up all of these years. It just says something about the quality of the construction and craftsmanship. So after the New Deal, politicians said it didn't work. And common wisdom was that it was sort of the war that stopped the economic downturn. But economists have looked at it and said, no, that's not really true. That it really was the New Deal that turned around the economy. It worked then, it would also work today. I thought it was interesting to look at the similarities of where we are in those two points of time and see how from the past we might learn something about the future. I'm Bonnie Spindler with the American Dream and I'll see you again next month.